Hi folks, I'll see you back then, glutton for punishment. Uh, <laughs> well, it's just a short old thing today, didn't get a lot. It's Monday, the day when there's usually something knocking around. Uh, first of all, out of the flipping blue in town and I thought, I go in and get my hair done. So, I had my hair done at the top here today uh, and we'll see where we go from there. Um, yeah, that was out of the flipping blue. Um, <coughs> bought five rings, and these were just a pound each, but they're really, really nice, solid rings. Um, this one really is for a, a woman. I don't know if you can see that. It's, uh, it's like uh, black enamel, white flowers with little jewels in the middle. And that fits my little finger, but I don't think I'll be wearing that one. <clears throat> and there's a, a nice black square um, crystal. Strange, fits my little fingers. We have to have a lot of little fingers. And that's a, that's a really nice one. I get a lot that just fit my little fingers. They're either women's, what women wear, or there's blokes with very little bloody fingers going around. But they're always nice rings. Uh, again, another really solid one, but that's uh, a clear crystal. Again, fits little fingers. Um, I don't care if if I if I want to wear one I'll stick it on one of my little fingers some of my other rings if not I keep them and there's always a woman somewhere along the line that goes oh but <clears throat> this one's like a, a silver type of metal band that goes round and then folds over itself and it's uh, design work into it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, it's pretty pretty neat. And let's see where that might go. Oh, look at that. Fits my little finger. <laughs> uh, <bugger>. <coughs> and this one, I just wish this one was a bit bigger. Look at that baby. That crystal nice design work solid ring just for a pound let's see where that will fit oh look that will fit my little finger which I'm quite happy about that is flipping doozy in it bummer anyway that's five rings for a fiver and they're not they're not flimsy little horrible things there. They're solid, um, especially that one, I'd hazard a guess. Uh, I can't see without glasses on to read, but that'll be from somewhere like alchemy or something like that. Yeah. <coughs> what else did I get? Well, maybe a week back, I think, I never showed this. Bought this for 50 pence. Sorcerer's Apprentice, don't know if anybody's seen it, but it sort of looks good, but you can't judge a book by the cover, can you? You see. <coughs> and then, you're not going to be interested in this in one bloody bit. But I do uh, lots of cooking uh, photographs or videos. And I saw these today, there were six of them. Um, why would I want six? Because there's only me. Um, at the most, I'd only need two. I? Uh, and these are really solid, heavy, chunky earthenware. They're really good quality. I'd, I'd, I'd hate to think what these were if you went and bought them in a store. 50 pence each, so I bought two. 
If I had more room in my cupboards, I would buy the six. But that's really gorgeous. You could put soup in there, anything cold, or you can make individual hot pots, uh, shepherd's pies, lasagnas, whatever you have desires, curries, rice dishes. But they're flipping pretty neat. I would say. So I just bought two and down here. I could tell you about them but I'd already owned those. <coughs> anyway, let's forget about the the cheap second hand stuff for a minute. I got this that was in a sale just because I like it and it's going to hang up in that window because there's a chain there. I'm going to hang it up. And this was for sale, and it was for sale for £7.99, but I wanted it. And that's this lovely big lantern with the candle. And the candle is a battery, and I happen to put batteries in it. And if we turn it on, that's going to look pretty good in the window. And if you give it a second... You get the flickering candles, so I should put that in the window and thank the lucky stars it's not red. <laughs> so there you go. But that's really lovely. And the last object, uh, which I think was a good, a good find, I saw it in the window and I, I thought it'd be probably dearer. This was £1.99. For those uh, that are using dollars, go bloody look it up because I ain't got the faintest. One ninety nine. I, I don't know whether it'd be in dollars, but there you go. <clears throat> now this will either sit somewhere, and it it reminds me of one of them things in the kids' parks. You sit on them, yay. That will either sit somewhere or there's a, a ring so you can hang it from the ceiling or somewhere. But what I like about it is you can put tea lights on it or candles. But look at the, the disc there for candles. So we're talking about that thick. You're going to get a fairly chunky candle on there if you want. Um, and to be honest, for... £1.99, you can't go flipping wrong, can you? So there you go, folks. That's just one of the two of the little bits I got today. Um, not so exciting, but I just go to town and think, please don't have anything in town today. I can't take any more. <laughs> so, have fun anyway. Uh, good luck shopping yourself. Hope you find some little bits and bobs that you, you need. Um, and I should be doing another uh, paranormal film, which will be, I think, Paranormal Number 8. And uh, that's about uh, a little church. Um, when I live in the northwest now, when I lived in the northeast. It was a little church in a little tiny village, not far from where I lived, and we used to go for a walk. Um, it was like the look of it, and one day we decided to go and have a look. Um, so that, that's about that. But it's not going to flip in, stop you sleeping, put it that way. <laughs> so have fun. Don't do anything I won't flip and do, because I've got my eye on you. Ha, ha, ha.